It is a testament to how we feel about this couple that we've traveled so far to be here today. I also do think that if we're honest with ourselves, it's a bit shameless what we would do for a bit of sunshine, a free holiday, and some food, right? <laughs> seemed like the elder sibling. Even as a toddler, she would boss mum, dad, Roly, me, and even the dogs about. <laughs> By the time of three, she was quite a force to be reckoned with. Like most siblings, we fought like cat and dog. I'll never forget Sophie telling me that I would grow up and live in a council estate, raising children fathered from multiple unsuitable men. <laughs> to hear that he's been a perfect son, a tribute to his parents and a wonderful support to his mother and to his siblings, etc. So I won't dwell on any of that. Before Jackson met Sophie, it's fair to say he was, uh, he was a different kind of creature. <laughs> he had very long hair, he used to wear hats, but I mean all kinds of hats, and he would not take these hats off. <laughs> he's just been just the most reliable and the kindest person, and he's been anything a brother could want. Reliability is Jackson's middle name. You can count on him to get the job done. And even on his stag do, when we had a... <laughs> I'm proud because I, I feel like we broke him on that day. <laughs> and we had him on all fours just stretching. Even then he was saying, I'm trying my best. <laughs> I'm, I'm so sorry. you have been an inspiration to us all. Your kind heart and fierce loyalty binds our family together like glue. She's a lovely daughter, always kind and compassionate, and Jackson, uh, in my view, is a very, very lucky guy to have married her. Now, I know most of you are wondering, how did Jackson find such an astonishing bride? And the truth is, I didn't. She, she found me. Now, let me quickly transport you back to 2005. Um, I'd yet to meet Jackson. Um, the iPhone had yet to be invented. I'd yet to speak to anyone that's female, except for my mom. It's the end of 2005, and I received my first impression of Sophie Sylvester. They met making pancakes in cookery class. Oh. And Sophie made it her mission to make Jackson her man. Not only did she win me over with her culinary delights, but she then asked if she could join me for a walk into town afterwards. Still being 15 at the time, this is like being asked out on a hot date and being taken home for pudding. <laughs> I mean, he's been out of his league since age 15, and hell, he's kept it going. Great family, I didn't actually drink wine. <laughs> and it was until I was seduced to come out to South Africa, where I went to the beautiful creation um, vineyard, that I was like, oh, this is actually pretty good. But hey, we've, we've got beautiful wine tonight, beautiful company, so cheers to everyone who's here. <laughs> Marriage is about giving and taking and forging and forsaking, kissing and loving and pushing and shoving, caring and sharing and screaming and swearing, about being together, whatever the weather, about being driven to the end of your tether, about sweetness and kindness and wisdom and blindness. If Karina sail stand still, Shake and flowers shrill In the trees your mother's arms The hound of Zion seeks your heart And 
calls for you. So for you are the salt and light of my life. You bring flavor and taste to everything we do. You are amazingly modest, never shining the light on yourself, but illuminating the lives of everyone you cross, and especially my own. Should you find yourself at sea? Palms of your hands empty. Though the way is steep and turns, oh, there is a heart that burns and burns for you. Not only do I love you to bits, but I'm still madly in love with you. I feel eternally lucky that I get to spend the rest of my life with you and will cherish every moment. For you two today, it's about to begin. For all that the two of you had to put in, some days filled with joy and some days with sadness, too late you'll discover that marriage is madness. Uh -huh.